Hello guys, welcome to another clip about Drachman Rallyan. Uh, today we play again a rapid game. And yeah, without further instructions, let's just start the game. The last one we were able to win. And now let's see how we will do it this time. I play 15 plus 10, that we have enough time to thinking. Okay, abandoned the game my opponent, uh, don't know why, because, yeah, maybe I had less rating points or something, but in general you should just, yeah, face every opponent, because it always makes you stronger. Okay, new luck, this time with black, so also both quite new and rapid game, that's why you have here this question mark. Uh, we play Sicilian defense. Um, we will play the pin variation, if it's possible. Um, but yeah, let's see first what he... What is he doing? Okay, he plays the classical. Like, takes, takes. Then we play knight f6 to attack this pawn. Normally, this is how he protects. Um, e5 is, yeah, it's not working because you have this trick, like queen a5 gives a check and attacks the pawn as well. So that's why we will win a pawn. It's quite, yeah, a common trick that you should remember when you play Sicilian defense. Because if this wouldn't work, then yeah, white would have a space advantage. But here, yeah, because it's working, we don't have to think about something else. And now I guess he needs some time because he will realize yeah, the mistake he did. So I play this one. And yeah, now we are pawn up. Uh, he's a bit up in development, but normally it shouldn't be a uh, too big issue, kind of. I never had this situation, so I have to think about it. Like, we have several options to develop. Um, yeah, but I guess I will play just simply this one. Um, to ask this knight, like, if he gonna exchange or if he makes a retreat um okay he makes this retreat if we go to c7 he will play b5 to attack um we just have to keep this square under control that the bishop cannot uh, develop it but yeah i guess we can play it because if he plays this, I can play queen b8, and then I can put him away with a6. So this shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, what we expect. And it's important that we control this square twice. Like, otherwise he could just jump in, and then we would be never able to castle. Because at the moment, the weakest thing that we have is this bishop. Um, he needs a move to get out. That's why we will try to play d5 afterwards. Um, to avoid a bit d5, he could play c4. But by c4, we just play a check, followed by a6 and castle. So... Yeah, I still remember about the main principles. Um, developing king safety center attack. Uh, we did it now a bit different because we won a pawn. And yeah, the compensation he has is not a lot. Um, because if you see, he developed three pieces. And yeah. The queen you can count or not, but we are more or less the same developed so far. 
and that's why we are just a pawn up and our next idea is d5 to control the center squares and we will win a move with that anyway like he goes back and then b6 something like that okay like here whites now d5 um I could still play it, but it's a bit unnecessary. Um, but yeah, I will play first this one. Um, this one would not really work because of exchange, and then I can't castle because of knight c6, and then this bishop is quite weak. So we play first this one. Now, he can go here or here. Um, this one here is not good because I will just take it. And then this pawn structure is really, really weak. So he has the bishop pair for that, but still it's not really good. And I'm not even forced to take him. Yeah, so on this one... Um, I think now about bishop e7 or bishop b4, they're just developing. Uh, e7 is a bit more defensive. Um, bishop b4 is a bit more active. Um, I just have to think about bishop b4, a3, if I commit to this trade because then my dark squares are really bad. Um, yeah, but I think I will play just bishop e7 and then choose the option with d6 and yeah, kind of that, okay, he tries against space, so we can castle, now b4 is following, idea is to put bishop on this long diagonal, as we know already it's called fianchetto. Okay, now, but now I guess we can play d5, takes, 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 so we lose the pawn back, but we get activity. Um, okay, maybe not the best, that's why we start with d6. Um, he can play this now, it's possible, or d5. But we will just continue developing with our pieces. Like, you also have this opening when, like, this pawn structure, when the white pawn is still here, to have this really important square. Um, here you don't have this pawn, so yeah, it's a bit different. Now we play this, um, just to open this diagonal. And here. Now, next question. Bishop f5, bishop e6. Um, I guess bishop e6 prevents a bit from this one. So I guess this one does make sense. And now this bishop here is mainly to protect this one. Um, we have to take care a bit about c5 if you want to open up everything. Um, or replace that. Okay. Um, what I was thinking was this, but it's nonsense because it's twice, twice attacked and just once defended. Um, so we play rook to d8 try to support a bit this pawn and yeah this one here is not really good because it will just uh, damage our healthy pawn structure but what i can do is queen a7 to go out a bit of this file or queen c8 with idea bishop f5 since queen is now on c2 
but yeah you see like things are developing now um, I guess he will castle yeah short because he opened himself a bit too much here and he can't attack here on king's side simply because his bishop is on g3 so it would need a bit more time to let this pawn yeah marching kind of um yeah time wise it was quite good like we really take our time to find the best moves um Okay, he played this one here. So after castle, he wanna play this rook here. And yeah, that's why I play now queen c8 to play this one afterwards. And if you would go back now, I just wanna move kind of instead. Like he went here and then here and not directly here so that's a slight difference but yeah still important one um okay now other idea is to grab this bishop um if i play this one he could go here But then I trade, and then I can play knight d4 since this knight is not controlling this square anymore. Um, I think that I think it's a yeah I think it's a good idea because if we play knight h5, it's also supporting f5. The only thing we have to think about now is about transition zug like this one here so let's say if I play this he takes I take here if he takes I just take and one a piece so this is not working um, so he has to take here or something and then the thing is uh, this one is a threat but I can just take it with check. So I'm first and then I can take the knight. And that's why it's working. Uh, this square I give it up a bit, but yeah, it should be okay since we can play f5 and also hide our bishop here. Um, yeah, I guess I play this. Um, his idea could be this. This is not possible because of this fork. But if he plays this one, I just take it. If he takes with pawn, this weakness is closed. Like at the moment, this pawn is under pressure. And if this pawn is here, he can't see it anymore. If he takes with rook, yeah. Then it's okay, then I play f5 and e4, bishop f6, and then, yeah, then we try to live a happy life. Mm -hmm. Okay, take, so I take here. And now, yeah, he did a mistake because it's with check. And now we can take here. Question is with queen or pawn. Okay. Um, he resigned because he saw, yeah, he lost a piece. And I personally would continue it, even with a piece down, but up to everyone. I would have taken with queen, and then this pawn is under pressure. And it's bishop pair, so I can play this one here, and then the bishops are like controlling everything, more or less everything on the board, let's say so. So, yeah. Um, that's why you always look for combinations. Like, it was important that we calculated it. 
and yeah, another victory for us. Um, quite short one, 21 moves, but you saw what is possible if you really take your time. Um, yeah, as an advice, play rapid games, you will improve your skills the fastest. Um, and yeah, that was it for today. I hope you learned a bit something also about the uh, Sicilian opening. Um, if you didn't subscribe me yet, hit the subscribe button. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye bye.